The on-screen text is EVP captioning from EVPs that I hear later when reviewing audio. If you want to hear them, I suggest you wear headphones. I'm feeling something with my thumbs. It's like somebody holding on to my thumbs. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Kind of creepy. Underneath the big ass banyan tree, I'm gonna call it a banyan tree. We're recording? Yeah. So I'm just talking about banyan trees. Is this a banyan tree? I did it. I did it again. I did it again. Crystal noticed that in the past few episodes, I've been clasping my hands and she pointed out that I started talking about it when I was doing the video, I think it was on attachments, but I was talking about there's a spirit close by that's clasping their hands like this. So I keep seeing this person over here and I'm seeing them like holding their hands. Since then, I keep clasping my hands like that and I don't usually do that. So. We're kind of gonna pursue that and see what's going on with me clasping my hands. Do I have an attachment? Do I need to remove somebody? Is somebody hanging around that is influencing me like this? This kind of thing happens to me all the time, but it happens to other people. And I'm not sure if this is a typical thing or if this is something that is pretty unusual. You know how you can be influenced by your friend or family and you will follow their gestures or you'll pick up on certain things they say or ways of talking or ways of doing things. Um, you'll be influenced by them. Spirits can have the same kind of influence on you. So a spirit being around me might be just doing this enough and I, you know, I'm unconsciously talking to them or unconsciously working with them, um, they might use certain words. And I've caught myself doing that before where I start speaking a lot like a certain angel or a certain guide that's around me. And then there's also psychic influences where I, I'm picking up on things in an environment and it's influencing how I act or how I feel. Okay. So again, I catch myself holding my hands like this and I'm doing this a lot. I'm doing this in every video. And so we're wondering, have I picked up an attachment? Did I pick up this person? Or are they with me hanging around? Are they influencing me? Because it might be that they are actually in my energetic field and they are really influencing me, giving me this feeling. Or it could be that they're kind of on the periphery and they're just hanging around, they're following me so that they can watch this happen because, I don't know, maybe it's fun or maybe I have cool guides or something like that. I'm feeling something with my thumbs. It's like somebody holding on to my thumbs. Wow. Wow. <laughs> kind of creepy because it's it's like little kids holding on to my thumbs so if I have this if I have this person with me and now I'm feeling a little bit of pain right here if I have this person with me then it's probably I mean they they might not be doing any harm they might not be taking any of my energy they might not be trying to get me to do things but I don't know. I didn't realize they were with me. So I'm going to check it out and see if somebody is in my system and hopefully move them up, move them to their next, next place. And that would be like a heaven, really. Um, let's see. So <laughs> still thumbs. Okay. Please let go of my thumbs.
I'm trying to see or hear what is going on, see what's happening. I feel like my guides are working with whoever it is. I'm not sure if they're if I have attachments and they're kind of focused on my hands or focused in my thumbs. It's like a it's a weird situation. It, they're heavy. My thumbs my thumbs are heavy. <clears throat> Okay, a little bit of a chill. Yeah, I'm just trying to pay attention. I'm trying to see. Let me make sure I'm wide open. Chills, yeah. Okay, so the woman clasping her hands is kind of, she doesn't mean any harm by it. I think she's being led away. Kind of like, uh, it's like if you picture picture a couple of guides or a couple of people and they're kind of they're kind of you know walking away with the person kind of like talking to them softly and helping them along but they're moving away over in that direction I don't know if I'm still feeling it on my thumbs Mostly I'm feeling it. I'm not seeing a whole lot. Um, let me see. I'm not hearing a whole lot. It's mostly feeling it, so it's more of my empathic abilities. Yeah, all of this is happening over here on this side. She's being escorted out. I feel like she's going into the light. Thank you. Okay, so let's stop for a minute. Let me put another, do we need another battery? Okay, okay, so I am seeing this. I'm seeing maybe eight to 12 people milling around over here. Like they just watched somebody, they just watched somebody cross over. Something else I do, something, something else I do on camera is I stutter or I repeat myself. I'll start a sentence and then I'll start it again. I don't do that off camera. And I don't know what that's about. I think that's just me. I don't know what that is. But I repeat myself on camera and I don't do that in real life. In real life. <laughs> okay, so she's gone, she left. We shouldn't see me clasping hands. I don't know what the thumb thing was. So, yeah, as you can see, spirits influence us. Um, we also are picking up on thoughts of other people or emotions of other people, too. A lot of times we'll have a random thought or something will just pop into our mind. It might not be us. That might not be our thought. Same thing with emotions. Same thing with, um, yeah, actual physical feelings. It might not be us. It might be that we're picking up on somebody else in the area who's broadcasting 
um, they're just putting it out. Or it could be that we're connecting with somebody we're close to. You'll also feel this when you're with somebody who is very psychic because sometimes they will be broadcasting and they won't be necessarily aware of it, but they're sending out a signal. And if you're open, you're gonna be receiving that signal and you're gonna hear their thoughts or you're gonna feel that stuff. You can even pick up on animals' thoughts or animals' feelings, especially if you're close to them. So how does it work that we're actually able to pick up on other people's thoughts and feelings or spirit thoughts and feelings or behaviors, gestures? Um, we're all connected through a matrix. This is, this is what I think. This is my experience of it. We're connected through a matrix and it's kind of like cords going off to other people. And when I talked about cords, I'm talking about these you know, thick strands of energy going out and connecting with someone. And we're exchanging energy with that person. We're exchanging feelings. We're exchanging thoughts with that person. We're maybe even physical feelings. And so we can think about that with people that we are connected with, that we know. But I think that we're all connected through probably a finer mesh, a matrix with everyone, with everything. And so that can be thought of as the collective conscious. Consciousness, that can be thought of as the collective consciousness. I think that when a lot of people are thinking a certain way or feeling a certain way, it influences all of us because we're all tied together. And so we're gonna feel that and we're also gonna be influenced by that. And so, if you're really sensitive, you can pick up on the feeling or thoughts of a whole community or the feeling or thoughts of the nation or the world. You can also pick up on what's going on on the other side. You can pick up on spirits on this same mesh they're connected with us too. Spirits, other entities, other beings. You can pick up on the energy of a space. And then we don't know how time and space works really. And so I don't know how that's affecting us too, but that can add to our like precognition or knowing something's gonna happen. And so we might be picking up on that kind of information too. I know that it is possible to predict the future. It's difficult because I don't think the future is set in stone. I think it's malleable or, well, I, I know this too, there are multiple timelines because the other side has talked about that too. And again, that's beyond my understanding because I'm in this context. I mean, yeah, I get it on paper. I understand it. I could draw pictures of it, but the reality is, we're in this context, so to really understand it, we don't know. But we can see a little bit into the future and understand things that are coming our way or that have the potential to come our way. I'm checking in with the other side to see if they have anything to add to this. It's kind of like um, looking at each other like, I don't know, is he talking to me? Like, <laughs> nobody wants to jump in. At least that's, that's the impression I'm getting. I'm kind of trying to feel out also um, the woman that left. I'm seeing if I'm feeling different. I think I'm a little lighter, so she might have been uh, closer. I feel like there are there are folks looking at me kind of like they won't talk out loud and they're like shaking their head or like doing that whole thing like no. Um. Okay so like how does intuition work? So when we're talking about intuition we're talking about something like when the light turns green you're hearing a voice say 
don't go, don't go. And you don't go and a car zips through and you would have been in an accident. Now, where is that information coming from? How does that work? Spirits, guides, I think they have a little bit wider view of time. And so they can see what's coming up or they know kind of what the possibilities are. And so they can help influence them or maybe even keep you on your path, keep you from doing something that takes you off your path. So getting in a car accident, that might be something that takes you off your path. Or it might be something that makes sure you are staying on your path. And being on your life path or not being on your life path, that's a whole nother ep episode. And with all of this stuff, I'm saying you're influenced by your guides, by your intuition, but also we can talk about your higher self. And this might be, if I'm talking about my higher self, I will talk about my soul Brett, okay? This is soul Brett. And it's my soul who is a whole lot wiser and a whole lot more informed than I am, little earth Brett. And so soul Brett kind of knows what's going on and is more connected up and connected with everything. And I think that's kind of how we're psychic. We are connected on a soul level with things. And so we're able to communicate with other souls and get information from other souls. And so I'll go with soul Brett again. It's kind of, it's quasi talking about myself in third person, soul Brett. So I was at a psychic workshop once and they said, okay, we want you to try to channel your soul, your all-knowing soul. And I did that, and Soul Brett is really wise and knows a whole lot and has more access to a lot of things than I do. Um, Earth Brett, <laughs> me, um, I'm just getting a little tiny bit of the information coming in, and then I'm also interpreting it using my my mind. That's why a lot of things that come through me and through my interpretation come out as pop culture or movie references. I'll get things in song because I'm interpreting it and I'm using what I've got. I'm using the dictionary or encyclopedia of my mind and my experience to tell me things. And that's how a lot of communication will come in from the other side. Um, some psychics actually have books of symbols that they work off of. And so if they see a rose, it means, oh, a mother, or it means love or, you know, peace or something like that. And if they see different things, that tells them, that tells them what's going on. All right, so not sure if I'm gonna get kicked out or not. <laughs> um, so I guess that's it for this one. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment. Have you experienced, actually, yeah, you have experienced this. Tell me about your experience with possible spirit influence or picking up on other people's thoughts because it happens to everybody. It's just you've realized it because um, you're with, with me. And, we're, we're involved in this kind of stuff, so we're paying more attention to it. Thanks spirits, thanks guides.